Hey everyone, it's the R. Sean. I want to talk about a very real issue. What do you do if somebody threatens to sue you in your business? For those of you who don't know me as well, I'm the R. Sean, a corporate lawyer. I'm licensed in 12 states and Washington, D.C. And these are tips on the McBride Attorneys Law Show where we help business owners, business leaders think about what they might do in a situation. Today, we're going to focus in on what happens if somebody threatens to sue you. All right, so let me start with the disclaimer as a lawyer. Uh, I don't know what state you're in. I'm only licensed in 12 states in DC. Even so, I'm not your counsel. I don't know your situation. I can't give you specific legal advice. All I can give you here is general ideas about what happens generally, uh, legal tips. You need to go consult your own counsel. If somebody's threatening to sue you, very serious stuff. We'll talk about why, but you should probably be in talking to your lawyer. All right, with that behind us, let's jump into some general ideas of what happens a lot of times when somebody gets sued so you get a good idea of how to handle the situation. All right, so the first thing that's going to happen is you're probably going to panic, right? Your heart's going to flutter and you're going to worry, right? This is, the, this is the typical reaction of most clients, except very experienced clients who've probably been sued a number of times, right? As your business gets bigger, uh, these things become somewhat routine uh, in some industries more common than others, construction being one of the ones where everybody's getting sued all the time. Uh, but other industries, they're sporadic, but they are still a wake-up call. So if somebody's calling you to threaten to sue you, they want a reaction. Uh, something needs to change in their world, right? They are upset for something. Uh, they may be upset by one of your actions. They may be upset by something that happened. They may be upset by your inaction. First thing to do is pause. Take the volume down, relax, understand what they're looking for and what they're coming after. A uh, very practical tip. I was just working through this issue with some folks recently. The other side probably doesn't want to spend the money on suing you, right? So unless there's some special circumstances, there's a contract out there that maybe provides for attorney's fees to the winner, et cetera, it's going to cost them money generally in the U.S. for them to sue you, right? They're not going to get their attorney's fees back in many cases. Uh, you're going to have to check your state law and what's going on there, but in a lot of cases, they're not getting their attorney's fees back. That means, uh, absent a special statute, a contract, a, a special provision in the law where you're at, in many places in the U.S., most cases, you're not getting the money back for suing. So if they're coming on the offensive, they want you to stop something, do something, um, take some action. They don't really want to go to the courtroom. Most people don't want to go to the courtroom, even the people that are calling you saying, let's go to court. They want to get your action. So what do they want and why? Uh, in some cases, maybe you did make a bona fide mistake or you didn't do what you were supposed to do. It happens. How can we correct this? How can we rectify it? Let's start there. Let's look at the problem and figure out what the solution is. We also need to look at the cost of the litigation from both sides, right? What is each side going to incur if this thing turns into a lawsuit? That's going to start to inform the negotiation strategy. Now, what typically happens in negotiation is we look to what would happen if we went to the courtroom, and then we come back and we figure out where we're at and what likely settlements or judgments or what a judge or jury would do, like usually informs where we're going to be at. So this is where you want some logical level-headedness. Uh, I'm going to tell you, probably pick up the phone, call a lawyer. It's not going to cost you a lot to get some preliminary advice here. Have the lawyer engage. You know, pay them a little bit of money, have them look at the likelihood of your winning or losing, the likelihood of the other side. The other thing the lawyer typically will be able to do is step outside the situation and look at both sides uh, because we're, we're not as emotionally involved. And we've seen lots of these cases, right? So a good lawyer understands the dynamics of both sides, what they want, what you want, what's going to cost them to go to litigation, what's going to cost you the business disruption on their end. Uh, business disruption on your end, the politics of it, positioning, uh, what people might perceive from the lawsuit. A lot of this can go into it, right? Because some companies don't want to sue because you don't want to be perceived as a person that sues. Some companies do like to sue because they like to have that perception of being tough. You really need that outside perspective and then take it. Uh, take it all into account. This is why you want to pause for a little bit, buy some time. Getting a lawyer involved can also buy you time. Because usually if you're a lawyer, calls the other lawyer and says, hey, I'm talking to my client. I need a couple of days. Usually you can buy some time. Lawyers are good at that of, of calming the situation, having discussions among themselves. So calm the situation. If somebody threatens to sue you, step back. You get the letter, you get the phone call, whatever the case might be, you step back, 
take a good look at what's happening, understand what's going on, and then take a step forward and figure out what happens next, right? Where do you go from there? And once you understand kind of the situation, get your breath, get logical about it, then you can start working out what's going to happen and the likely pattern. This is just another business thing to deal with. Litigation is part of business. In many cases, if you get a good lawyer on your side early in the process, you might be able to get to settlement. You might be able to negotiate it out. It might be as simple as saying, I'm sorry, I'm going to stop. But get that good logical separation between where you are and where you're at. So don't panic just because you've been sued. It happens. Take a breath. Get some perspective build an action plan to deal with this reality and then move forward on that plan. So don't, don't upset yourself too much. Uh, understand it's part of the game. So if you want more legal resources, go to McBrideAttorneys.com. You can also check out the McBride Attorneys Law Show here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications. Go check out my blogs at McBrideAttorneys.com. Also check out my future of business show called Future Done Right. All of these are resources to help you, the business owner or business leaders, do better. Hope you're going to take a breath. If you are the one getting sued or if you're looking to it, put policies and procedures in place that will lessen the likelihood of getting sued. But no, when you get sued, the first thing you do is take a breath, get some perspective, figure out what the situation is, and then move forward. So, all right, folks, be careful out there. Hopefully, you're not getting sued today. If you are, take a breath, get perspective, call your lawyer, take the next steps. You'll be okay. Hopefully you can work it out without going to the courtroom. All right. Thanks, everybody. It's the Arshan signing off. Looking forward to seeing you on a future video here at the McBride Attorney's Law Show.